Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Allie the Mystical Fairy. If you are new here, my name is Alyssa and I will be reading your cards today. If you guys are watching this on March the 22nd, it is my birthday, yay! And I want to say happy birthday to all the Aries out there, all right? So let's go ahead and get on with your reading. Today, we are doing a timeless pick a card reading on how are you currently being viewed. I will have three piles for you to choose from. For pile one, I'll be using the Light Sears Tarot deck. For pile two, I'll be using the Rider Tarot deck. And for pile three, I'll be using the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Finds her. <laughs> All right, so please choose whichever pile resonates with you the most. Hello, Pile 1. If you chose this evil eye pendant, this will be your reading, all right? Let's go ahead and see how are you currently being viewed. Let's see, Spirit God, Ancient Ancestors, please give me the most accurate messages for my Pile 1s. All negative energy will be sent back to the sender, and please protect my Pile 1s from all negativity. Thank you. Okay, so I'm, I am like getting that you may get a lot of compliments here. Some that are evil on you and some that aren't that literally just appreciate your beauty. Okay, or just appreciate you, your style, your hair. All right. Spirit, how are my power ones currently being viewed? We got the Eight of Pentacles as well as the Page of Wands. Okay. Someone here can be a business owner. Someone here is being viewed as an artist, basically, or the creator. I'm getting like the creator of their own world. Someone here is able to really manifest and, and really create whatever they put their mind to. Like, they're like an alchemist. Someone here is an alchemist. People view you as an alchemist. How my power ones currently being viewed? You might be viewed as someone who kind of stays to themselves or uh, works on their own business and stuff. Like you may stay out the way unless it's about the money. I'm getting if it's not about money, I don't want to talk. If it's not about business, how my power ones currently being viewed, spirit? How my power ones? Four of wands. Wow. Give me one more card. How my power one is currently being viewed. How my power one is currently being viewed. How my power one is currently being viewed. And the Nine of Pentacles. The moon on the back of the deck, as well as the Queen of Wands. How one. Honestly, like you may be someone who honestly stays to themselves, but I feel like when you do go out, like people really enjoy being around you, like your energy and stuff. Someone here, I'm getting like the word girls girl. I feel like you're someone who kind of spreads positivity, especially if you like go out or something. Someone here is the, like the life of, a, of the party. And I feel like you have a lot of reasons to celebrate right now, Paul One. Um, people view you as someone who is very artistic, very um, energetic as well. Um, it's like you have a side to you that is like an introvert, but also a social butterfly is what I'm getting. Or maybe you you kind of, uh, I'm here and fake it till you make it. So maybe you're just really good at networking and communicating with people. Um, and even if you don't believe that, people view that. Um, people view you as someone who is able to network and really connect with people here. People view you as someone who is very abundant, okay? I'm also getting that you may like to share. Like, you don't really, you're not selfish, okay? You don't gatekeep. Like, you don't mind putting other people on. Okay? 
someone here is very inspired you could be kind of young here if you are younger here people view you as someone who is very successful i'm also getting like an artist maybe someone in the industry someone thinks that you would be good for something someone here could be a model people view you as someone who has it all I'm getting a lot of feminine energy. Someone here can impress a lot of people. And someone here will get a lot of opportunities because of their art and because of how passionate you are. Um, like sometimes it's not even about how good you are at something. It's about how passionate and how bad you want it. And people view you as someone who is a go-getter, someone who's really working on their own. Um, setting themselves up for success people view you as some uh, as someone who is very picky about who is in their circle okay so some people feel like it's not really easy to get into your circle but when they do it's like you know because i feel like people have this kind of outside um outside judgment about you but it's like when they really get to know you you're very um you're very open like people may view you as someone who is very serious actually um until you know they get to know you and i feel like you can't you always make people smile um you could be very goofy <laughs> the signs that i'm getting are capricorn Taurus, virgo aries leo sagittarius and uh yeah Capricorn towards Virgo we do have the moon here on the back so with the moon here and the queen of wands what that tells me is people may view you as intimidating um your energy could be very intimidating I don't think a lot of people are used to someone as high energy as you as confident as you um who's also you know maybe you stand on business okay and it's like you mean what you say and it's like everything that you say you're literally going to do you're literally going to put into action and it's very intimidating because you're very honest and you're a go-getter and i feel like it kind of has you know you kind of you know it kind of brings out people's insecurities so that's something also that you really have to worry about how, well, you don't have to worry about it, but it's like sometimes your energy can bring out people's insecurities and it may cause them to lash out or, you know, show some sort of jealousy or even hatred. But really it's just disguised as love, you know, and admiration. Cancer energy here. I want to pull some more cards for you. How are problems currently being viewed? How are my problems currently being viewed? King of Wands. A lot of fire energy. How are my problems currently being viewed, Spirit? Nine of Swords. Knight of Swords. Two of Swords. The Tower on the back of the deck. Someone here is like a Leo and never fails that I get strong Leo energy here. Let's see. With the Leo and the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, this really tells me that you are being viewed as a leader here, um, a trendsetter. And I really feel like you, if you haven't started something of your own, you really would be good at that. Um, or you're really good at being a boss. If you haven't considered, you're really good at, you would probably be good at being like a CEO. Um, something about you tells me, like the energy tells me that you're very organized and that you're very specific, which is a good thing because when you are a boss, when you have your own business, you want to be specific, you want to be meticulous and you want to, you know, make sure that you have, you know, everything right, you know, up to par and up to your standards. And I feel like, you know, this is you, you're really good at being a leader and just making sure everything is good. Okay. Um, people view you as someone like this. People view you as probably very organized. Um, I feel like people probably wish that they could be as organized as you. I'm also getting as clean as you. Um, maybe you just have like a good look towards you like you take very good care of yourself as well 
all right nine of swords page of wands here all right So I am getting, okay, I'm getting a weird message that maybe someone feels like they aren't as creative as you. You could be good at, I don't know what this is. It could literally be like painting, drawing. Um, <laughs> why did I get plumbing? Oh my gosh. But literally it could be any skill and someone just thinks that they can't measure up or it makes them a little anxious, which tells me that there could be someone that is in your field that is currently comparing themselves to you. Maybe they're in competition with you. And I feel like, you know, the way that you do things, they really can't find a way to copy exactly like how, you know, like your formula basically. Um, they can't figure out a way they someone here wants to be as creative as you i don't know what this is but yeah maybe someone just feels like they don't have the the skills or you know someone someone here is thinking that you're about you're going to beat them out the competition or something maybe you're applying for a contest or maybe some sort of scholarship something here i don't know and you have someone that is worried okay um four of wands knight of swords yeah what did i say that communication i feel like you just have such a balance between like being reserved but also socializing and it's like once you're done socializing you're just like oh catch me in a month <laughs> like ew i like spit but like I feel like you're just like, yeah, I'm about to hibernate for the next month. Catch me, you know, catch me again the next month. I, I feel like you're someone that's like, if you didn't catch me tonight, you ain't going to ever catch me again till I pop back out, okay? Um, but that communication is on point. And I will, you know, even if you don't feel like it, people love when you talk to them about different things and like i said you'll be really good at networking go to some networking events people will view you as someone who is very confident really someone who is really able to sell them their business or sell themselves not in that way but like sell themselves as in you know your brand who you are you 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 have a good way in speaking um even if you don't think it uh this is what it's telling me very good at hosting things maybe hosting parties uh tv show hosts i don't know but you would be very good at hosting things okay not a pinnacles to the two of swords here some people don't think that you don't know where you're going like some people think that you have so much talent and so much success but like maybe you don't know where you're going or maybe that's how you're viewed or maybe it's just that uh what is that saying uh moving in silence like maybe you have people think thinking you're going one way and you're going another another way or something like that here or maybe you truly don't know where you're going but you have a lot of skills you're successful um you're making money but maybe you're just confused or people view you as that like maybe it's because you do a lot of things or maybe it's because you don't really know how to make up your mind which i can relate to that i'm someone who is very indecisive so so you could be a little bit indecisive here maybe you don't know how to make up your mind People are like, you have these skills, like you just choose one. <laughs> but really some people feel like, you know, even me included that they can do a lot of things in life that we want to accomplish a lot of things. We don't have to just stick to one thing. So yeah, with the tower on the back of the deck and the three of swords, um, maybe you did get out of a relationship or something like that. And it's kind of caused you to go through this like very nice, uh, um, I don't know, not awakening, but maybe it's caused you to, you know, learn how to be independent and be uh, cool on yourself. And I feel if I feel like it's really paying off, um, people view you as someone who is very confident, creative, successful, um, a little bit indecisive, but also like the life of the party, very communicative, okay? But maybe you have to go through something to become this way. Maybe this wasn't always you. Maybe you were, um, maybe you were too much, you know, dependent on someone. So yeah, and I got the full card too. So you have to take that leap of faith and, you know, really, uh, to go your own way, you know, and to become less, 
uh, dependent on someone and it's really it's really has helped you out here i see so yes pop one that is what i get for you um heavy leo energy and fire energy we also got uh, a lot of air energy so gemini libra aquarius okay so yes that is what i have for you if you have not subscribed yet i would love to welcome you into the family if you want to check out my patreon the link will be down in the description box below as well as the details um that you would need if you would like to purchase a personal reading from me but as always take what resonates and leave the rest and i will see you guys in my next video bye Hello, Pal2. If you chose this selenite crystal, this will be your reading. All right. Let's get into it. Let's see how you are currently being viewed. Spirit God, Ancient Ancestors, please give me the most accurate messages for my Pal2s. All negative energy will be sent back to the sender. And please protect my Pal2s from all negativity. Thank you. Spirit, how are my pal twos currently being viewed? How are my pal twos currently being viewed, Spirit? Queen of Cups, how are my pal twos currently being viewed? Wow, the Empress. Okay, I did get mother here. You could be a mom here. The Three of Wands. How are my pal twos currently being viewed, Spirit? The hangman and the moon. <clears throat> the heart fit on the back of the deck. All right, pal two. I really get that someone here could be a mom or a dad here, a parent. Someone here views you as a really good parent here. All right, so with the queen of cups, People view you as someone who is very emotionally intelligent. You could be very much in tune with your emotions. Um, I'm getting that you're really not some not the type of person to really lash out unless you really need to. Um, and I feel like people admire that about you. There's like a type of zen, like a type of uh, like peace about you. Um, and I feel like you're very level-headed and you're able to come up with solutions to like problems in a very, um, um, I don't wanna say too much logical, but maybe in a more heartfelt way to where you think about yourself and everyone around you, okay? With the Empress here, people view you as someone who is very handsome or very, um, very beautiful, okay? I'm getting, a, someone here could be very exotic here. I'm, I'm getting long black hair or short like a bob cuts. I'm just getting jet black, jet black hair, uh, middle part bust down. Like that's what I'm getting here. Okay, or that could be like your favorite style. Also getting blonde hair, red hair, um, ginger. But yes, people, you could be very fertile right now. Um, but people view you as someone who is um very well kept okay i'm also kind of getting power ones energy to where um you're kind of very selective with the people that you keep around you so maybe people some people view you as distant and i feel like it's because of some sort of wisdom that you've gained some sort of knowledge i'm hearing frontal lobe developments i don't know what that's about <laughs> okay but i'm getting that someone here has really glowed up and really has grown up and maybe you've put distance um with some people so that you can uh better find people who align with who you are now um very loving someone here is very loving and caring okay someone here is very genuine as well but yes people view you as someone who's very uh very wise and very knowledgeable um very uh very good at handling um different conversations it's like you know People can't really put you in a box. Like maybe you like to talk about everything. Like you can really be friends with anybody, okay? Um, or you can talk to someone about anything because you have a lot of knowledge on a, like different subjects or something. I want to clarify this moon card real quick. 
eight of cups as i split the deck yeah i definitely get like this pile has walked away so i do think that um you know people some people view you as distant okay and maybe it's because of you know maybe they've caused you know some negativity in your life or something like that or maybe you're just um wanting to be surrounded by different people and you're wanting to go your own way all right clarify the moon card spirit and maybe that's maybe this is somebody else's energy maybe this is what people are worried about you kind of going your own way all right let's see yeah temperance oh i knew i got this peace energy yeah i feel like you're making a lot of peace with your past or peace with people that have wronged you okay who have maybe hurt you and people are viewing you as someone who is distant okay i think a lot of people will are saying that about you like maybe this person's distant um i haven't spoken to this person or this person has you know um <laughs> someone said this person glowed up and they don't know how to act now which is kind of like rude um i don't know someone's here saying like they don't know how to act they don't know how to act i don't know what that's about but yeah i feel like you're making a lot of peace with the past and peace with people who you know have maybe stirred up some negativity and may have have even caused you some anxiety and i feel like you're kind of you got these people shaking in their boots <laughs> that's what it is because i feel like you're kind of moving away and maybe you're you're kind of changing your life around okay or also i'm also getting someone here has had a kid and it made them change their life like motherhood or fatherhood has has made them want to change their life around okay that's for somebody here all right let's get some more cards how are my pal twos currently being viewed Ten of Cups. Yeah, someone here. So if you are with someone or married, people view you as someone who is very happy or in a happy marriage and a happy relationship here. Or someone here who has like a happy family. I'm getting someone here created their own family and, and they're very happy with it. Or if that's not the case, people view you as someone, especially if you are... I want to say if you're a male or a female, um, you have options that view you as someone who could really be a great parent or maybe not even parent, but really, you know, people feel like you can make anyone happy, okay? The sun. People feel like you can really make anyone happy or... Um, I feel like you also are someone who kind of takes on people's energy because I'm hearing that maybe you'll be taking people's depression away, you know, like you be, but you, you, you put a smile on people's faces. Okay. How are my pal twos currently being viewed? Six of cups. <clears throat> How are my pal twos currently being viewed? How are my pal twos currently being viewed? Spirit? Four of Swords, yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. How my pal two is currently being viewed, and Knight of Cups, definitely. So, um, yeah, like I said, with the Empress and with the Six of Cups, I do feel like like you you have people from the past, like maybe even past like schoolmates or like just past people who have known you who literally like. Like, if you walk by them, like, they wouldn't know who you were. Like, I feel like you just completely changed, like, your look. Or it could even be your energy. Like, people wouldn't even know who you are, okay? Um, these people miss you. They miss the memories that um, y'all have created together. I feel like people reminisce on the good times with you. But I don't know, especially if this is, like, an ex here. Someone here can't believe that they were with you just because of how much you like glowed up and even back then i feel like they couldn't believe that they were with you pal too um maybe you were like way out of someone's league if, is that how it how it goes i never know if it's like you're out of their league or they're out of your league i think it's <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's like you were out of their league yeah you know what i mean <laughs> but yes um 
and people put you on a pedestal um whether you see yourself uh as that or not like people really do put you on a pedestal and um yeah some people view you as someone who can do no wrong okay Okay, I'm here. Never work nine to five. I got pretty privileged. Bad bitch. I want to run my own business. Okay. So maybe someone here has pretty privilege. Or someone here is extremely confident in themselves. Especially with that Empress here. Taurus energy is what I'm getting. I'm also getting Virgo, Virgo woman. Uh, feminine Virgo energy. Three of Wands, Four of Swords, yeah. Um, so to be honest, I really do feel like there are some people who view you as like, like I feel like you could have been slept on. And these people that you kind of put on a, uh, to a distance or that you left, they slept on you. And I'm also getting another, another message with this Four of Swords is that you like, you're like, <laughs> Some people from your past or some people, I mean, that you left and put distance, um, you, they don't really know exactly what you're up to. So I feel like some people think that you're like resting or that you like haven't popped out or something like that. But it's like, it's only because you really haven't talked to them. Like I said, I feel like, you know, maybe these people used to know a lot of your business because maybe y'all used to communicate every day or something like that. But some people, they don't really know what you're doing. So I feel like I kind of think that you're resting, but little do they know that you are like the empress. Um, and I feel like people see that, but it's just like, I guess, because you haven't communicated with these people, it's like, they don't really know what you're up to, but I feel like they kind of always know like, oh, they're up to something like, you know? So they're just kind of like, you know, they don't really have any knowledge or, you know, they're a little bit flabbergasted. I don't know where that word came from. Or a little bit uh, confused as to what you're up to. But like I said, I, I definitely feel like you were being slept on with these people. And now it's like you're, you're popping now. You've grown up. You have this different energy. Um something about you has really changed and it's like people don't even know who you are okay i feel like people can walk past you and not even realize like i'm getting that someone be walking past you and they're like oh you're hot or you're very handsome but little did they know like you were you had school with them you were in high school you were in middle school with this person it's crazy wow the hangman and the knight of cups um yeah i really just get this sweet energy with you pal too um very intelligent energy people think that you're very flirty and when you do flirt you kind of like you're very smart with it very strategic um in a way and I feel like it makes people want to be romantic towards you. Maybe make people want to uh, give you flowers. Um, I just feel like you know how to, you're very flirty, okay? You could be an Aries here. I'm not really getting it like fire, too much fire energy here at all. Um, but um, Aries, women are flirty. But like I said, I'm also getting Taurus because Taurus uh, females, they're very feminine to me. Also Virgo. So yeah, that could be one of your signs. And I feel like you're very strategic. Um, maybe you know how to get what you want. Or, you know, maybe you don't even like try. It's just how you come off, okay? And people think that you're very smart. Uh, like potential lovers, okay? I feel like they think that you're very smart. And it makes people want to, you know, confess their love to you, okay? <laughs> Um, the signs that I get are a lot of water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm getting heavy Taurus. I'm um, getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy Cancer energy. And yeah, that is all that I am getting for you, pal, too. 
And with that being said, that is all that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, take what resonates and leave the rest. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to welcome you into the family. If you want to check out my Patreon, the link will be down in the description box below, as well as my information if you would like to book a personal reading with me, all right? So yes, that is all that I have for you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello, pal three. If you chose this Amazon this crystal this will be your reading all right let's go ahead and see how are you currently being viewed i'm getting virgo energy here all right so now where that come from i think it's because i saw the hermit on the deck <laughs> all right spirit god ancient ancestors please give me the most accurate messages for my power threes all negative energy will be sent back to the sender and please protect my pile threes from all negativity thank you yeah we got the hermit card all right let's see spirit how are my pile threes currently being viewed how are my pile threes king of cups how are my pile threes currently being viewed spirit we got the everything is fine card. How are my pile threes currently being viewed? Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and we also have the Ace of Cups. Six of Cups on the back of the deck. I do get there is a little bit of past energy here. People view you as someone who is very ambitious. I feel like Pal 3, you kind of have to change, like you have to turn your life around. Um, maybe you have a lot of memories of your past recently. Have you been thinking a lot about your past? Or maybe even just thinking about how far you've come. And I feel like you're like a learner. And I feel like you've been learning a lot recently. It's something about acceptance. So maybe you have accepted something or come to peace or come to terms with something. But I also feel like people have like... People view you as someone who is very ins inspirational. And I feel like people, like, you know, they really know it's a change. It's like you're learning something. It's something about doing better for yourself. So I don't know if you've started, you know, like doing a hobby, going back to school, whatever it is that you want to do, doing hair, like, it, you know, whatever it is. And I feel like people notice that from, like, your past i feel like it's something that you've been wanting to do like since you were a child and maybe as you've grown up i feel like you've been uh maybe said oh it's just a dream or you'll never be able to do that or you know i don't know but i feel like you're getting back to that and people really notice that about you and people notice that you don't care what people think anymore and you're going to continue to learn and continue to do better and, and focus on the things that you want for yourself pal three because i'm getting people may have made fun of you for whatever your hobby is it could be being a youtuber or maybe you want to be an actress or a model or it could be anything that you want to do construction i don't know but people someone here told you you couldn't do it but i feel like the people around you or the people who are watching you now or the people who you're in school with or whoever you're learning with while doing this they really see how much of a go-getter and passionate you are about it and i feel like whatever this is you were people think that you were born with this talent or born to do this okay I'm even getting like Navy or something. I don't know. Air Force, military. I don't really get those messages in my reading. So maybe you are in that field and very dedicated. It could be whatever here. And I feel like it has a lot to do with your past. And I feel like you've come to terms with maybe you're not going to, I don't want to say you're not going to be happy, but you won't 
be made you won't feel like your authentic self unless you do what it is that you dreamed of and this is something that you've been wanting to do wanting to do ever since you were um younger here before the world told you you couldn't do it and people view you as someone who's very inspirational so i feel like someone here beat you down for whatever you do now or for whatever hobby it is that you you're you're doing okay this could even be something in the lgbt community maybe people didn't accept you um parents friends or what i just feel like someone here has kind of been beaten down but it's like now they're growing up they're learning and they're gonna do whatever it takes and someone here still leads with love and it's 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 amazing no matter how beaten down they were no matter how hard they 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 felt like they wanted to give up someone here just still leads with love and will continue to lead with love and someone here didn't let the world change them my pile of threes are always so deep i don't know why i hope you're clicking on my pile of threes i want to know comment down below if you pick pile three okay but take all of this if it resonates if it doesn't resonate with you you can always choose another pile okay but yeah and I'm also getting that because these people did this to you, maybe you in, even had thoughts that weren't even yours. Meaning maybe you had like a, a intrusive thoughts that literally wasn't even yours that were just judgments from other people. But it really came from love. That's the thing. When people judged you and beat you down for whatever, it really was out of love and admiration because they just couldn't see themselves you know being who you are being as confident or being um into the things that you are and 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 you know stand on that you know so it really came from a place of love it really did if you don't know that you know that now people you know people will do that because they admire you admire you and really love it but they disguise it with hate you know um and mistreatment <clears throat> let's pull some more cards very inspirational maybe it's even this is even a story like someone here has like already grown up and in, into the things that they they are successful with the things that they have uh that they're interested in uh their whatever this is right and People view it, view your story as very inspirational um, and that it could help a lot of people, especially younger people here, or maybe people who feel like they don't really have, I don't know the word hope, or they can't really be themselves. Like, honestly, someone here should create a channel or some sort of social media page because I feel like you will create a safe space for people. I don't know. Okay, let's see. How my power three is currently being viewed. How my power three is currently being viewed. The devil. How my power three is currently being viewed, spirit. Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. How my power three is currently being viewed. How my power three is currently being viewed. Justice. How my power three is currently being viewed. See, I feel like you got your justice from all of this and the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> yeah. See, I don't know why I got like LGBT here, but I really feel like someone really casted judgments on you, like really harsh judgments. Maybe because they're like super religious or something. And not to bash people's religion or anything like that here. Um, I respect all religions, okay? And I really don't like talking about religion because it's a very sensitive topic. But <clears throat> maybe someone has judged you here or made you feel less than. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, or with the devil here, I feel like maybe you had to overcome um that could be a story that maybe people like misjudge you or like like if you're lgbt or even like it could be something like just something that people don't really like maybe like your parents didn't accept you know like it could even be something as 
sex work or you know whatever this is here it could even be as simple as because you know how people don't like accept people who literally don't go to college like it could literally be something that just like you know that people didn't accept maybe people just thought you were going down the wrong path or something like that here or if that is not your story um somebody just, like i feel like you had to overcome a lot of like thoughts um and i feel like mainly with the devil card these were just intrusive thoughts honestly um negative thoughts that people threw at you and i feel like maybe you were in this constant cycle of just believing everything and unfortunately when we kind of repeat those things constantly we kind of confirm those things until you kind of rewire it and change your you know thought you know process so and that could have kept you down for a long time right because with this everything is fine card but i feel like you've been putting in the work and people see that someone here is extremely inspirational and uh a lot of people see you as someone who has so much potential just a, a lot of light and people want to know who you are pal three and i feel like you should really put that out there especially if you are resonating with this in any sort of way you need to put that out there so that people you will literally create a safe space for someone out there like it will help save someone else's life if you were to share your story and put yourself out there because i'm getting like a like a maybe kind of like a futuristic view views of you like as people like admiring you applauding you saying that yes i can relate to you you know you saved my life type of like this that's the type of downloads that i'm getting right now because you've done the work so you have the knowledge to give to other people power three you've done the work you've been working on yourself you left these people behind and i feel like you're you're looking for new opportunities you're you're coming into opportunities on your own okay and you're setting yourself up to be successful you're laying the groundwork to be successful and to be dependent on yourself and you walked away in peace and i feel like you said goodbye to your old self you know i'm not gonna be someone i'm not gonna be these things that people said about me I'm I'm a good person. I'm 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 positive. I can do this. I can be an actress. I can be a business person. I can do this. I can do that. No matter what it is, I'm confident in myself. You left those old thoughts, and people notice that about you. And I feel like honestly, people know that they can't even just say anything to you anymore. Like you know what I mean? How people sometimes people begin walked over and think they can just say anything to someone, but no, people can't just come up to you. Even if this is like family, I'm getting somebody said they're gonna slap them if they do. I'm sorry, I don't condone violence, but someone said they're gonna slap someone. I don't know what that is. Are we gonna have to fight? Like, but what I'm getting is, is basically you're you're standing up for yourself now. And I feel like you have this past energy is where you may have just let someone beat you down okay and like i said if you haven't if you don't resonate with this you know but i'm like getting past views here and now present view is like people view us view you as someone is like wow they're really doing this whatever this is wow they're really you know they're doing this and they're happy you know they're being authentic um they're finding they're they're becoming successful they're learning um and someone here got their karma and someone here really did get their karma for bullying you or harassing you or whatever it is pal three the justice card has spoken honey someone here got their karma pal three for sure for sure uh libra energy they got their karma because i feel like i don't know this could have even been an ex a family member whoever this is this is crazy how the your pow, y'all's powers are always so deep sometimes i don't know but yeah they got they got karma because they basically tormented you for a long time this could have been an ex here that put you down okay made you feel like you couldn't do anything made you feel like you couldn't be successful 
and they got their karma because they've been torturing you for years or at least like i just feel like the things that they they've said kind of stuck with you right and that's why i'm saying this could have definitely came from someone you really loved and cared about you know for it to i mean people's you know anybody's you know words and stuff they can really hurt any type of abuse or anything it could really hurt but it's like I really feel like some of this stuff really came from people who, who you loved and cared about. And you could have never seen them as someone who could do such things to you, right? And it's kind of just put you in this, you know, maybe it is true, but it's not true at all. And you're changing that all around, okay? And I'm like, I'm like, people see that, you know, they can't, that, that you're moving on and that you're really doing it. And they're going to really regret Power 3, for real. And like I said, you're going to have people applauding you, um, viewing, viewing you as someone who is inspiration, who's literally saved someone's life, power three. Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. I feel like, as I say, you always view things with love. And I feel like you have like a new passion, a new start to life about something. Although people are noticing that you're now more guarded with your love. Like, you, I feel like people know that you have so much to give to other people. And I feel like, you know, even people from your past know that about you. And I feel like, you know, maybe I can try, maybe, they're like, maybe I can try one more time to get in their energy or, you know, or, you know, I don't know. I just feel like you're more guarded now. You're not letting this slide anymore because you know that you have a, you know, you have a full cup to give to someone who is worthy of it. Um, and people notice that you set some sort of boundaries. I honestly think something about an ego is bruised. So someone's ego is bruised. Someone here that you may have rejected here. Um, that ego may have been bruised here. Sorry. Um, but yeah, Powder, you're doing amazing. I just want to tell you that this is definitely meant for someone. Someone was meant to hear this, pal. Um, very inspirational. Uh, you do have a lot of passion and I want you to know that you can do anything you put your mind to. People view you as someone who is very, um, very it's it's like when you tell your story to people maybe you talk to strangers or something it's like people just are mind blown by how much you went through okay i'm getting someone who's drunk or <laughs> could be talking about their divorce with a stranger or something like that here but it could be anybody anybody who relates to this in some sort of way people just think you're compelling and that you know good for you for changing your life around because it's just like not everybody can do that some people will just stay in a negative cycle you know it's a lot of people out there that stay in a negative cycle because they can't you know um maybe get out their thoughts or they can't break some sort of you know cycle or habit here and um i just see you being more guarded with your energy you've left the old you people are getting karma for what they did to you and people just view you as someone who's now more selective okay i feel like you are more you have more discernment here power three so yes power three that is what i have for you take what resonates and leave the rest um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed i would love to welcome you to the family um check out my patreon the link will be down in the description box below as well as my information if you would like to book a personal reading with me all right that is all that i have for you power three and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye